Okay, guys, so I'm about to carry out the ZE test, which is external earth fault loop impedance on this board. And I thought I'll quickly share it with you. So the supply coming in, I'll move some extra cables out of the way. So the supply coming in is a TNS, as you can see, terra neutral separate. And the maximum fault loop impedance uh, for this supply is 0.8. However, obviously, we're expecting well below that point. So what we're going to do is that's the main 16 mil earth bond going uh, into the consumer unit or main earth bond cable. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to remove this main incoming cable. I've already slackened the screw, so we're going to remove that. Obviously, everything's isolated, uh, so we don't have any power running through. Uh, then we're going to set our meter up. So I'm using my MFT1741 Plus, leads connected to L1 and L2. Uh, I'm going to set it to LPE and we'll keep it on there because we're not, we're not getting different readings and then we were comparing the highest one. We just want one reading. So we'll just keep that setting there. And then instead of doing a three low test, we press this button. That changes it to too high, so we're going to carry out a too high test. What we're going to do is we will connect this onto the earth and make sure we have a good enough connection. And then the second lead goes to the incoming live. So let's just connect that there and let's see what the meter does. So 0.14, which is well below 0.8. Uh, so that gives us the ZE reading. We'll make a note of that and the very first thing we do straight after carrying out a ZE test is pull the earth back in and nip it back up. So that's the ZE test. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Thanks for watching. Bye.